Happy Veganuary. I have put together some of my go-to vegan recipes, including some of your all-time favorites from me, in one video to get this year started right, to hopefully inspire more of you to eat more plants in 2023. All the recipes are linked down below, and let's get cooking. Our first recipe is sweet and sour tofu, super easy and adaptable as a midweek quick meal stir fry. You don't need to go buy the sauces. This is a foolproof recipe that you can just adjust to whatever veg you have in the cupboard. We're gonna start by pressing the tofu. I'll link this below because I get lots of questions on this. It's called Toe Future. If you don't have one, just put your tofu in between some plates, put something heavy on top, maybe wrap it in a tea towel or something to get some of the excess water out. We're gonna chop this up and get cooking. So I'm just gonna chop the tofu into chunks. Just gonna pop this in a bowl with some corn flour and seasoning. We're just gonna fry this in a pan. The corn flour really helps for the tofu to absorb some of the moisture so it will fry better. And if you have issues with tofu falling apart or not getting crispy or browned, then try this method first where you just fry it with corn flour and then set it aside and then carry on cooking and you can add it back later because it really creates a firm little brown crisp cube of tofu. Now it's golden brown, I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and set it aside. Another key thing for cooking tofu is non-stick pans because if you have a crappy pan, it's gonna be a mess. So get yourself a good non-stick. Gonna add one onion and some garlic to the pan. For the sauce, we'll use two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna use dark and light soy sauce. Three tablespoons of rice or cider vinegar. Once the onions are softened, add in a red pepper and a green pepper. And then 80 ml of water, or a third of a cup. That's not a big enough bowl. Add in 100 grams of pineapple, all chopped up, and then your sauce. It wouldn't be a recipe of mine if I didn't forget something, so I was supposed to put the brown sugar in the sauce. So add your brown sugar into the sauce, but I'm just gonna put it straight in here, and you'll need two heaped tablespoons. And now it's simmering, we're gonna add in our tofu. food on my dress already. This smells really yummy. So let's dig in. The tofu is perfectly juicy. Absolutely delicious. If you like spice, definitely add some sriracha into the sauce or some chili flakes on top or uh, sliced chili. Perfect, easy meal to make any week of the, any week, any day of the week. <laughs> any week of the day. <laughs> any week of the day. Some of you I know will like and prefer a savoury breakfast or maybe you prefer to eat breakfast a little bit later in the morning. And I think this is perfect. A burrito that's really filling, wholesome. You could even have this for lunch, it's kind of interchangeable. The recipe for the filling of the burrito you can make in bulk and have it every day and just ready to go as meal prep. Three spring onions, chopped. Heat up some olive oil in a pan and then once it's warm, chuck in your spring onions and fry them. Mince in two cloves of garlic. Crumble in a block of tofu. Next, three tablespoons of sweet corn, but you can just eyeball this. Six cherry tomatoes, a splash of milk, a pinch of chilli powder or cayenne pepper, just however spicy you like it. Salt and also some pepper to taste. Stir everything through and mix and then cook for about five to ten minutes until it's all yummy and delicious. A 
teaspoon or more, however much you like, of paprika. I like a lot. A handful of coriander. I'm going to chop the stalks and throw this into the pan. Squeeze half a lime into the pan. I'm just going to heat two tortillas in the oven for a few minutes. While the tortillas are heating up, I'm going to chop up this avocado. I'm going to top with half an avocado, coriander, you can leave this out if you don't like it. Squeeze on the remainder of the lime. A dollop of coconut yogurt. And then optional is a little sprinkle of some vegan cheese. Yeah. Now a moment of truth, trying to get it all wrapped up. My little baby burrito. I'm so excited to try this. I wouldn't usually cut them in half. I would just eat it as a big wrap, um, but I've cut them half so you can see what's inside. And also, I'm cautious of using the word burrito because I think burritos have rice in them. So it's just a wrap really, but you get the gist. This looks so nice. Mm. That's really tasty. The shape of this tofu, what's mm. going on? This is like making my life very difficult. How am I supposed to chop this? recipe. Alex is very happy about this, aren't you? Probably looks like chicken. I have a feeling this is going to enter a regular... Oh, hello! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> do you want some satay? I have a feeling this is going to enter our regular meals because this is yummy. This is a roasted red pepper pasta. It's super easy and it uses the jarred roasted red peppers that you can get in the supermarket. If you've not bought them before, you can get them cheap in Aldi, Lidl, or even Tesco and Asda. They usually shouldn't be more than like a pound or a pound 50. And it saves you having to roast them and they're already jarred, makes it a lot easier. So we've got those and we've got some pasta, some coconut cream. It's really simple, perfect if you're a student, perfect if you're a beginner or if it's the middle of the week and you can't be bothered but you're craving some pasta, this is delicious. So we've got a big pan of boiling water. I'm gonna bring that to a boil on the stove with some salt and then we're gonna cook 
about three to 400 grams of pasta. Do the amount of pasta that you enjoy eating, the sauce will kind of accommodate, but I think this will be good for like three-ish people. Do you reckon three, 400 grams? Yeah. Meanwhile, that is boiling. We're gonna heat up some oil in a large pan to cook an onion and some garlic. If you've run out of garlic for any reason, then you can just use garlic granules in replacement. We're gonna add in 350 grams of roasted red peppers. I've got this tiny little uh, tin of coconut cream. This is 160 ml. Just use whatever you buy. Don't bother opening up new ones or getting two lots. Like this is 160, but I've definitely done this before with one that was 250. Just makes it slightly more or less creamy. And then we're gonna add in 100 ml of vegetable stock. Add in a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, and season with some salt and pepper. Give it all a mix and then heat through. I've just tasted the pasta and it's nice and al dente. I'm gonna save a ladle of the pasta water and then we're gonna drain it. And now we're gonna transfer this sauce into a blender to blend it. And then the pasta water that I saved and mix it all together. This looks so beautiful. I feel like I've worn the perfect outfit because like orange and blue are like complementary colors. It's just so appetizing, the color of this. Mm. Our last recipe is a yummy Thai green salad with a delicious spicy sesame sauce to go on top. Very fresh, very easy and hopefully quite quick to make. We're going to start by shredding up half of a white cabbage or one small cabbage. This was quite big so I'm just cutting it in half. A pretty big cabbage so I have halved it again so just go by how much cabbage you would like I'm using about that much so it's about a quarter of a larger cabbage so we're just gonna make our spicy sauce starting with around a centimeter of ginger two cloves of garlic 50 grams of almond butter 50 ml of fresh orange juice, the zest and juice of one lime, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of sea salt, dash of sriracha to taste, just a squirt, and then blend. So just got 175 grams of instant rice noodles and these just need to go in some boiling water for a few minutes and then rinse them out with cold water afterwards and set them aside. One green pepper chopped thinly. One green chili finely sliced. One green apple. A bunch of coriander. And a bunch of spring onions.
I'm just gonna add in the cold noodles and try and separate it a bit so it mixes through easier. And then add the sauce in to mix through. The smell was making my mouth water so much when we were taking pictures because it just took me back to Thailand. Like that dressing, oh my goodness. You could use that dressing for so many other things. You could toss it over some tofu and bake it or you could toss it over a salad or just have it as a dressing in general. Like it would make anything taste incredible. And this is so refreshing and just perfect for this time of year. Honestly, I'm making this, we made so much and it's so good for meal prep. I'm gonna make this all the time now.